All right, folks, Chef Freddy here, back at you with some garnishing tips. You ever wonder how you can just enhance a product? Maybe you're having some people over your house. Um, you want to finish the product off, you know, real nice. Um, you know, fresh herbs, guys, you know, like scallions, green onions, um, go a long way, right? Just gives that dish an extra pop, right? So here, you know, first thing I do, right, um, take off that bad portion, right? We're not going to eat these whites, right? Um, I put it in a little waste container here, okay? Then I break down, I just go over here and I just look at like the portions maybe I don't want to serve. That's usually the little tips, um, you know, and I get rid of them, okay? So two different ways here, folks, that we can actually break these down. The first way is the traditional way, right? And the rondeau cut, we're just going to cut circular um, little pieces of this green onion here, straight down. Again, we're not, we're rocking our blade, right? Forward motion, right? We're guiding our product here, right? And again, you know, just think of a nice little platter you just got done doing. Maybe some rice, you got it out on a platter. Maybe some meat, maybe some steak, fresh steak with chimichurri sauce. Um, you know, a chicken dish, right? Um, and you just want to enhance that product so your viewers, your guests, people that are coming over, if you're in the industry, your customers, or maybe you're doing catering events, you know, you're an at-home chef, just started your own catering company, right? This is just another way. Your food should sell itself, but people eat with their eyes. So put a little garnish on your stuff, guys, right? Utilize, you know, fresh herbs, you know, let it enhance your flavor. Again, you know, so I'd save this for later. I'd get this done. Um, and again, this is something, you know, while um, your food's in the oven cooking or you're waiting for water to boil, utilize your time, you know, get all your garnishing done, uh, you know, and have it all set off to the side. You know, I would put a piece of wet paper towel on this um, and I would stick it right into my refrigerator. And later when it's time to go, I would uh, just pull it out and I'd finish my products with some uh, green onion. The next cut I want to show you, right? Again, that was more of the traditional way. Um, I just want to show you a bias, right? We're going in at a 45 degree angle and I usually just take off the areas that I don't think are gonna look beautiful, right? And we're going in a 45 degree angle, folks, and we just cut this on a nice diagonal or a bias cut, right? And it opens up those green onions, really gives it a nice uh, presentation there, right? And this is simple things, folks, that you can do. This is not hard, right? Again, we're on a bias, we're having fun, we're cutting it down, you know, we're being careful, we're working clean. And again, this I would do on a nice salmon platter, right? I had a salmon platter, I would just run it down the salmon um, and I'd give that dish, you know, a nice little pop, right? The days of, you know, using paprika and everything or some dried parsley are gone, right? Let's utilize product, um, let's use some vegetables, some herbs and uh, make them garnishes. When you are garnishing, though, a tip for garnishing, right? I see a lot of people, you know, use like uh, rosemary or thyme, right? That's not edible raw, right? You don't want to just chew on a stalk of thyme or rosemary, right? So when you're garnishing any plate or any platter or anything you got going on, make sure it's edible, folks, all right? Make sure that it blends well with the overall product and you don't have people taking out thyme springs and stalks of rosemary, things of that nature. You know, include edible garnishes and a great way to do that, again, is with the herbs. You know, use your parsley, use your cilantro. Um, and here I demonstrated using green onions and scallions. Thanks so much.